Hello, hens. How are we all tiddly doing? How's everybody holding up? I am just absolutely in love with this and for growing together. And I'm wanting to do every single type of video that I can possibly think of. I'm actually having a great, 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 great time. If the Sims 4 growing together has 100 fans, I'm one of them. If it has one fan, I'm not fan. If it has zero fans, I'm dead, babe. Honestly, I just don't think I've ever recorded this much in my entire life. And I accidentally already recorded the beginning part like 10 minutes into this video and then realized that my mic was muted and you can tell that I love this pack so much because I'm just uh, here straight back just on me my mic and I'm ready to go babe. So today we're going to be doing a video that I have never done before and it is going to be each room is a different infant trait this was a video idea suggested to me i was like i don't really want to build a house out of this because how can i make a kitchen toddler themed you know so da, 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 da. i've made six rooms this first one is calm and then this one's cautious then we have intense and sensitive sunny and wiggly and i did already start building the calm one and honestly guys i had i told so many stories in this one i talked about how um i would love this room because i am not i'd love to be calm i would love to be laid back but i am just a high strung bitch i know that i am quite high maintenance not really high maintenance i'm just like got a busy head you know my head's quite high maintenance anyway what's a calm looking door so yeah we're going to be doing like six different rooms so kind of sets i'm excited for it though because i've not done something like this oh <gasps> that is a calm looking door it's giving sims 4 family fun stuff even though family fun stuff is in the sims 2 i might change the carpet or i might just put a rug i'm not sure i also changed the layout of this one because those zigzags that just weren't giving calm honestly guys they just were not performing to a, a calm level it was actually getting me a bit too excited so i had to remove them oh look at that that could be good every time i play something down from my first pet stuff or batu it does pain me a little bit see that's quite cute and that's the original vision i had for it but i am kind of preferring the sea theme more but then we've just got to try and find something that actually matches the sea theme but also it's got to be quite casual rug you know because it's a calm room this is the thing guys this is the thing i mean does the rug have to be blue the rug could technically be beige or white i'm open to offers but does it look weird with it being so big Oh, I'm a really creative, guys. I might put that there and then for the floor, I might have something like that. Potentia. Mm. Yeah, fuck it. Guys, that looks good. I'm happy with that, guys. I'm vibing with that, guys. For a bootcase, I might need to judge things around a little bit. I don't know what to put up there. To be honest, this may be rendered useless because I don't actually know if infants can get up there. And did I put an infant in this family to be able to test things? Nah, I didn't because that would be entirely too useful. Okay, actually stressing a little bit now, actually, because I don't know what to put up here. I might make it go down one and I might make it have a rocking chair. Actually, the rocking chair wasn't the plan i just saw rocking chairs i was scrolling through here and i thought oh do you know what would go nice a rocking chair or maybe a little you unique sheep sheet seat even oh that is absolutely stunningly beautiful i think that color goes better i'm trying to make it look like that as a footrest but i don't know if i'm actually getting that vibe do not know zellings i do not know or i might just put the you there and this can be like a little read oh reading nook i love it i think i'm not sure what to put here i might put a light do we have like a suddenly my entire memory oh my goodness sir suddenly my entire memory of the sims has absolutely just gone i cannot remember if we see the thing is because i've been playing the sims for so long i feel like these balloon lights are a contentious part of the sims 4 but i don't mind them sometimes but because i've played so many of the sims games for so long and still consistently play the sims games for so long i still play the sims 2 and the sims 3 and the sims 4 and sometimes the sims 1 a lot of the games just kind of merge into one for me so i know for example that there is a fish themed light of some kind in one of the games you never quite know which fucking game it is sorry that wasn't very calm of me actually and this is a calm build so we're literally radiant calmness what's the line between giving calm and giving empty because this corner feels a little bereft, is that word? Bereft? Do I put a potty in? I mean, there is a potential possibility that they may be shitting. To finish this little room off, I might put just a casual... Just a casual... I can't find any of my casual things. Right now, fuck it. I'm getting stressed out actually a little bit. I'm just going to remove all of this one, my baby my angel my darling no i hate it actually i'm just gonna leave that there i'm just not gonna overthink this but i might change that i know it's really dark to not stress guys i'm just putting actual light in because that is one thing that i do tend to forget <gasps> or i could even put that there yeah that is the one that is the one that's it that is 100% being the one that works for me. Save room. Calm infant room. That is on the gallery. That is not a kitchen. Somebody lied to this girl several times. This is a kid's room. So we've got the calm room done. Now is 
cautious. How the fuck am I going to do cautious? I actually have a plan. The decorating style doesn't really matter so much to me. But I, I think for the cautious one, I'm going to like pretend those are bars. I swear there's like actual bars. Oh, that's a nice awning. I swear there's like actual bars, but not like them. Unless they, they are just the ones I'm thinking of. Yeah, fuck it. See, my niece was a cautious child, but like there was nothing specific about a bedroom. Right, we'll decorate it. Cautious infant would definitely have a crib with bars on and maybe a screen over this bit because this bit is like obviously a higher bit i can imagine them being quite scared to go up there so i'll put a screen up there so they can't get up okay you know what that's quite you just got that's quite clever you jeep fucking jeep it well i don't know what else definitely a carpet because they'll be like i know i'm scared of banging my head my niece was scared of banging everything love you isabella but it's so weird because now she's like the complete opposite like that kid is absolutely nothing scares her which is a really interesting because she never used to be like that little rocking chair that could be quite cute honestly guys this one stumped me a little bit right we'll put you there you can go there i don't know what else to put in like a cautious kid's room I, to be honest i'm even second guessing the bars on the windows because i wouldn't put those on a cautious kid's room i would put those on a wiggly kid's room so the way you know what we might be using them twice today i don't know i feel like this one's kind of a little bit bland i think that's just gonna have to be it it's not actually that bland i'm just working myself up over it i think what's making me make it think it's bland is the rug uh maybe i could put it there maybe i just put it in the center but then that's off center with the crib so do i just put it there you know it's a difficult one guys this is a difficult one and i am stressing myself out over it. you know what calm energy i'm the calm infant cautious infant room right intense for me for an intense kid you want all of the possible distractions that you can possibly get that is my interpretation of it i'm gonna lower this so i can put this thingy playpen thing in it and even on either single side of that a complete distraction as well like this this intense kid is 100 percent getting every single possible thing they can get in order to make them not as intense i know that a lot of this stuff isn't usable until the toddlers either but you know what They're, we're just preparing guys we're just preparing i'm trying to find a color theme that would all go together maybe that we could do a space girl room which is not space girl i just have to do a spice girls in a scottish accent every single time i come across a space girl room yes i did that and you would do it too for a check i'm gonna make it bigger i'm gonna make a fucking huge mobile and put it there because honestly this kid needs distracting right, i'm just gonna pile up shit loads of toys around the corner i've moved the bed over this side as well i don't know i just honestly that guy from tiktok has just made me so fucking scared about having a bed in front of a window things that have changed my brain chemistry that it feels really dark in here as well right i think i'm just gonna go base game wallpaper base game flooring and then a fun rug a fun busy looking rug we have a lot of space theme so i'm gonna have a space themed rug nice pretty with a bootcase i might have to put that there put the bootcase there and then it, to be honest it kind of makes sense to have a rocking chair like this close to the bed because you know you'll be just popping from the bed to that i might put even put an orange one in because it's kind of very blue with some hints of orange but not that much orange i feel like the rug again is in the wrong space i don't know rugs are honestly where i stress out the most in a build and i think that is very prevalent i think you can tell a lot actually yeah the infant is really good they already drew this like they are literally modern all i was coming to my head was mozart and i was like no that's not that is in fact that is not correct all right there's a lot going on here and you know what i think that genuinely is for the best i might even put another rug in which usually i'd be like no but this room's already so chaotic what's another rug gonna do do you know what i mean uh, this is room as intense as is the child you know it may just suit the child. Oh, you can have that on there. You know what? I'm going to put them in there. Oh my goodness. I might actually replace that one with that because that does make more sense. Actually, it does. And then even I might just put some shit on the floor. Like, well, I'll put the baby care, baby, baby care clutter there. But then I might have like a thingy on the floor, some toys. This kid's intense. Like, you honestly, fucking work your ass off just to get this kid happy. Do you know what I mean? He's going to have some shit on the floor. I actually like that. It's really quite chaotic, but I really quite enjoy it as well. It's intense, just like the trait. Intense toddler. Oh infant i've actually i've never heard of toddlers in my life ever i love you too right next up sensitive oh god this was also my niece did i have a door in that one yes i did i was gonna say jesus the intense kid is not allowed in or out of their bedroom too intense oh that's quite sensitive that you know what that kind of reminds me of booze door from monsters inc oh guys i might watch monsters inc after this right sensitive 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 i can just imagine like soft furnishings doesn't take much to upset these ones am i the sensitive sensitive infant i potentially could be yeah <clears throat> you bitch i can't place it but i want that window would it 
work if I like just scoop tank your and made this one too high? Could I be able to just sneak that window in? No, maybe if I done that and moved it up one, it kind of works. I hate every single other room though with two wall heights, apart from this one. But is that worth it just to get that window? No, right. Do we have any other type of bay window? I might put that in. I might drag this out, maybe, but also maybe not. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm just like slowly losing sanity as the, the builds go by. I'm open to that being a potential possibility. Yeah, but this could look good. It could be like a little two-parter, you know, like this bit is the toddler care section and the other bit is the toddler. It's not a toddler. It's a fucking infant. It's the infant play section. I think I'm doing too much with that, but we could just have a bootcase there. There is sensitive child so i want them to have like lots of opportunity to sit and read and i mean but they are literally an infant like they don't even really understand what being sensitive is you know i'm gonna have curtains that fully block out the light though because if they're sensitive they're gonna be sensitive to light and things like that i'm really caring actually i hate this room i do i hate this room i think there's just too much going on oh my mind has changed about this room no nope, i'm not a fan of it i prefer more now i think maybe the toddler it's an infant the infant gate thing has thrown me off the baby gate makes it look a bit community lot it ish okay that looks better i don't know if it's giving sensitive though maybe i'm being sensitive about it maybe the true sensitivity was the anxiety that i displayed along the way really random giraffe you know what you can even have a mate i might change the wallpaper because it's uh, the objects are given like pink and purple and the wallpaper uh, is just given pink or oh, pink and blue this bit's looking really empty i need some on there i can't use the sea stuff again but the sea stuff is so cute i might just put them that looks all right Do you know what it's a sensitive it's not giving sensitive actually don't think i've mastered this room i also don't think i can upload this one because because it's like technically two separate rooms. Yeah, I can't do that. I can't upload that. Right, next up, sunny. Oh, yellow. I'm going to go yellow themed. A sunny child. This is very yellow, but I am enjoying it. For a sunny child, I want lots and lots of windows. This is a sunny child. They have a sunny disposition and a sunny house. This one particular window's fucking me up. This bit's fucking me up a little bit. I'm definitely going to get rid of them and put these in instead because these are given sunny where the old one, other ones were given like a little bit, I don't know, not sunny. I also think I'm going to put that lighting because it's kind of giving sun it is oh look at that right and now for actual cribs and stuff like that i don't think we have a yellow crib guys we're gonna have to put an orange crib in but it is kind of giving sunny but now that tree is not giving sunny oh <gasps> Oh my goodness. Blossom trees. Oh, the koala. I actually really like the koala. That's not a koala. What is it? A sloth even. That's quite cute. I feel like that's all I'm going to be saying throughout this entire fucking video is, oh my God, that's quite cute. But guys, I can't lie. You know what? That is kind of giving more sunny than the sloth, even though I love the sloth. So I might put the sloth like here. All right. And then a bright yellow one of them in the middle. We can even have a potty. I'm going to, I'm putting the doors in the exact same place like every time. I'm not feel like I'm really being that creative with it, but I'm having a great time. And that's all that matters. I might change the rug though i would like to have a rug that fits the entire space because the rugs have been a bastard for this type of room that just looks like a sun ro uh, rug and i think that's a bit too on the nose something like that could be good though where it's like a oddly shape yep 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 i like that you know what actually i might put this over there so it can get a full moment and then it looks like he's part of that as well and then i think just a sunny little picture there and then it's done if i can find the right type of fucking picture oh never mind actually because I can just put one of them there. Boom. The sunny room is done. Finally, the wiggly room. First off, oh, well, should I keep that? I'm going to move that down because this kid is wiggly. So I, I'm genuinely going to want like the wiggliest type of things that I can get. Is there a way to fit this slide in? Maybe I think that wall is going to be the only wall where we can fit a slide in. So I might put the entrance to this one here using that door and definitely a play mat. Right, so that honestly, lots of yellow and green in this one, but I think we're going to have to go for another yellow and green themed room just to make everything fit or we could just do that that's what we're going to be doing and then for a change in mat maybe just perfect perfect we'll just have to have that on there that should still work hopefully i mean we'll find out you know what i mean oh i don't know i think this last stream is actually gonna be a bit of a fucker i would dare say i think i'm gonna block that off as well i can imagine everything in this like anything reachable by the infant will just be slightly askew because they are so wriggly like they've just wriggled everything ever so slightly out of place i'm just gonna have to make that just one smaller just so it looks a little bit better the animation will be a little bit fucked on it but it's fine this one is scaring me a little i'm gonna put that down right i know that it's kind of like an outdoor rug but because this kid is such a wiggly kid i'm gonna see that, like just preempt that the family is like yeah this kid needs fucking protection because he just launches himself at the floor constantly so that's what 
what I'm going to do for that one. And I'm going to have toys everywhere because I think that there would be. All right, this one's a bit more plain, but there is a lot of stuff in it. I think I'm just perfectionist and uh, I do struggle with perfectionism. But I, you know what? Yeah, it's fine. It's a wiggly room. I mean, to be fair, most of the places, space has been taken up by the fucking slide, which is valid. Do you know what I mean? I think the slide should be the, the main point of the room. And we definitely were able to fit a slide in. So G fucking cheat it was. So there they all are. Six rooms for six traits. <laughs> This was actually really quite fun. It's very different to any type of video that I usually do. So a little bit nerve wracking doing this type of stuff. Feel quite out my depth. But in the same breath, really, really enjoyed actually. Definitely something new. But yeah, that's everything that I have for you today. I love you all so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, bitch.